our strawberry plants are starting to wake up and get nice beautiful blooms but we just have a slight problem and that snails and slugs in the garden they love our strawberries so today i want to share with you some ways to eliminate and even control snails and slugs in your garden Thank you all so much for stopping by today. So it's such a beautiful day out that today we're gonna to do some preventative maintenance in the garden. So I want to share with you ways to kind of control or even eliminate slugs or snails in your garden. Now first, let's talk about the difference between slugs and snails. Snails and slugs are very similar. The only difference is the snails have that shell on the back of them. But the reason why I wanna go ahead, do some preventative maintenance is because you see we have strawberries that are starting to uh, come on our strawberry plants and the slugs and the snails, they love them. And so last year we had them pretty much under control, but today I wanna to show you uh, what something that we ordered online that we're gonna try in the garden. But then I also wanna show you um, what we used last year. and. It, it did the same thing. Y'all know I just love to try new stuff and report back to you about it. But what I'm going to do before I share that with you is I have got to pull all of these grasses up. And like I shared with you in the last video, we're just going to start using leaves and mulching them up very good. Now I have to say very good, very fine because the slugs and the snails, they like to hide under the leaves like if they're um, whole like this and then if it's a moist environment they love hiding under there so I have to make sure that they're mulched up very good but we're going to start using that as our mulch because this right here is truly bothering me and it's a hit or miss every time I buy the bags of straw to me I feel like it's more of a hit uh, more of a miss than I've had hits and I just I cannot continue to look at it like this. So we're gonna pull all of this up. And then since we have blooms that are starting, is the spring is literally a couple of weeks away, we're gonna go ahead and give them their spring feeding. Now what we use is berry tone. I'll make sure I show you um, when we get ready to put them on, but so far so good. They are waking up and they are looking like they are ready to start producing. And last fall, we were able to take some of the runners and make more strawberry plants with. So we have to plant them out as well. But we're just going to focus on this patch right here. Get this cleaned up so this can look neat. Because I always say, even though this is like a grass, you do not want your, your plants competing for nutrients. So that's why I'm pulling all of this stuff up, giving them a good feeding. Um we are almost done running our drip but since everything is starting to bloom nicely i want to go ahead and give it a good start so let me clean this up and then i'll show you a couple of ways to combat snails and slugs in your garden okay so let's talk about the very first method and that's just taking like an old tuna can if you have pets just take that can clean it out real good and what you're going to do is you're going to dig a hole probably buried about half halfway in the soil and then you're going to put beer in there um, i don't have any beer on hand i drunk it all i'm just kidding y'all it doesn't matter what kind of beer that you use um you know you can just go like to the store and just get the cheapest can of beer if you don't drink beer um, if you do drink beer, you can take you a little swig and then you can give the snails, you know, pour it in here. But what they're attracted to is they're attracted to the yeast. And over time, what they'll do is they'll start uh, crawling in. And then once they get in, um, they can't get out. But what I will tell you is that you will have to uh, reapply the beer like you'll have to put that in several times um, because as the the smell of the yeast uh, kind of di dissipates then you'll have to just keep reapplying but this is definitely a easy way to combat and eliminate the snails and slugs in your garden okay so the next way is uh, 
slug and snail bait. This is garden safe. It's OMRI certified, if you can see. So it's for organic um, garden. So all you do is just sprinkle these. And let me open them up to show you how they look. You just, uh, they're like little granules. So you just sprinkle these where you have slug and snail problems. And um, over time, this will help, again, eliminate or even uh, just kind of control the snail and the slug damage in your garden. So I uh, use these and I can definitely tell a difference. And this is actually what we're going to be putting down today as a preventive maintenance way of getting rid of the slugs and snails. Okay, so this right here is what I ordered off of Amazon. And it's still a slug and snail bait it works the same as this exact same way and basically what you do again is you just bury it um, a little ways down into the soil and then you just pour the beer in there and just like the can method they are going to crawl in and just pretty much can't get out so they're basically going to get drunk off the beer and they can't find their way out now i'll make sure that i link these what I will say is I have not tried them out yet, so I don't want to say if it's a go or no go. I will let you know, but it did come as a set of five. You get five of the bottoms and then like five of these caps that you put on. I just um, got these because they come five and there are areas in the garden that I do know where we have a lot of slug and snail pressure. So that's the purpose of me getting those. And so I'm just going to set them throughout the garden, put the beer in there and just keep reapplying it. And hopefully we won't have any slugs or snails that continue to eat our vegetables and plants. So I wanted to show you what we use for all of our strawberries, our blackberries, and our blueberries. When the kickoff of the gardening season starts and the plants start to put on some growth, we'll go in and we will just go around the base of the plant and give them the slow release fertilizer of um, the berry tone. And this is what I wanted to share with y'all. You always have to look on the side because a lot of times we look and try to get like all these different fertilizers, but this is good for a whole bunch of plants if you have growing in your garden. So if you're not able to find like, just say for instance, berry tone, look on the side of the package because it gives a list of all the other uh, plants that these um, that this will also work on. So I can put these on my, uh, let's see here, I got flocks, I can put these on my flocks. Um, azaleas, I have azaleas growing, I can put them on that. And as you see, like the blueberries and the blackberries as well. And, but just what I'm saying, and I do have gardenia, so I'll probably give my gardenia some slow release fertilizer. So just because it says berry tone, there are also other acid loving plants that you could still use this on. So what I'm gonna do now is again, just go around the base of the plants. I'm gonna try to get a few more of these leaves up just so that I don't give the snails and slugs like uh, invitation to come hide up under the leaves. But I will tell y'all this, I am going to email the company because I looked on the side of the package of the straw just to make sure that it was nothing I was doing wrong or just trying to make sure I was doing everything right. And if y'all think that I'm just making this up, like after I get done, here's my garlic patch. Can you see, like I'm gonna have to go in and clean out the grass there. And I just cannot figure out why some bags do this and why some don't, but somebody is gonna get an email um, from me and I'll give them my cell phone number because they are welcome to call me. But, um, so let me go ahead, get this all cleaned up and get the berry tone and then we're going to put what i'm going to do is i'm going to put um the slug and snail bait granules that i showed you i'm just going to sprinkle that down and what i'm going to do is just set up one of the snail baits the green snail baits that you saw and just kind of monitor the area if i feel like it's becoming a problem then i will fill it up with beer 
I'll assess if I need to put more than one in this area. So that's what I'm saying. You just have to keep doing garden walks and garden check. What I'm just doing today is doing a preventative maintenance so that they don't even get started because like I said I do see strawberries that are starting to grow and I don't want them to come and start making holes in there and then make it inedible for us because we can't use it so I'm just getting a jump start on the season just to prevent any type of pest that I think snails and slugs that may think that they're going to get some of my juicy strawberries this season okay so we're all done we got everything cleaned up we put our berry tone down we put one of the slug um, and snail baits here we got it empty like I said I'm just gonna monitor it for now but if I need to I'll come out here and pour some beer in here and we still put the granules down under it's underneath the straw so I know you probably are asking right about now well why did she put the straw down again because I don't have a leaf mulcher yet. I'm still researching one, but until I can, you know, really decide on which one I want, I'm just gonna put this down and just continue to, you know, I guess pull the grass out. That's all I can do for right now. So if you know a good leaf mulcher that really mulches the leaves up fine, put, them in, put that in the comments below so that I can go and take a look at it um, because I am going to get one like, I don't know I just feel like I could be using my time doing something else besides pulling you know like the the grasses that's coming up that's just the way I feel but I'm so glad that I got this done we got these fertilized and so in the next coming weeks I know for a fact I am going to have to put like my bird netting over here because if it's not the squirrels it's the birds it's the snails like somebody is going to try to take some bites out of my strawberries and I want to definitely protect them because I see so many beautiful blooms can y'all see all of the beautiful strawberry blooms that are coming on the plants like I am super excited for this so um and then like I said I'll monitor everything if I see where um pest or squirrels or birds are getting over into our strawberry patch then I'll make sure that I do everything that I can to protect it because we got a some very sweet strawberries last season and like i said this is the quinault i think that's how you pronounce it q u i n a l t is good for our area and they produced all season long again they kind of slowed up in the summer because it's so hot and humid but they put on not as big as a flush um early on in the season but in the fall they put on more strawberries so when it started to cool off again last year they put on even more strawberries and then we were able to make new strawberry plants out of these so I hope this helped you um, comment below let me know what pest that you uh, kind of fight in your garden let me know what you're battling with um, we're all here to help each other so as always thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope you share this video with your family and your friends if you are not a subscriber we would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber so make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video again thank you all so so much for watching and until the next video bye bye